Well, joining me now from Kumase, Ghana, is Marianne Asantewe Nkansa. She is one of the youngest chemists on the continent, and she also sits on the council of a charity that offers educational and career guidance uh, for girls and women. Thanks so much for being with us. First, I want to get your take on why this massive gender disparity uh, in the fields of science and technology. What is not attracting women to the careers? Um, science requires a lot of attention. Thanks for having me. Hello to all the viewers and listeners. It's a, a field, or STEM fields require a lot of attention and meticulous um, consistency. And this coupled with the societal requirements for women, and especially cultural requirements of women in certain jurisdictions, make it impossible for them to pursue careers in science. And even for those who pursue careers in science, it's difficult for them to remain in these fields. Why is it difficult? Yeah, because uh, the task of being a scientist requires of you to spend many hours in the laboratory, attending conferences, sharing your findings. And that coupled with the traditional roles of women, such as being the caregivers at home, taking care of the home, taking care of the children, right. being caregivers right. for elderly parents, and uh, so on and so forth. So how Sometimes, are you trying to change that? Oh, personally, I will say I have been very fortunate to have champions and support system and collaborators who understand that women have to thrive in their chosen fields. And so that has enabled me to cross over some of these hurdles that women typically will face. Okay. Marian Asantewa and Kansa, unfortunately, we are completely out of time. Thank you so much for being with us.